Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our FTP downloader. So if you remember from the previous tutorial we added this notify new file icon um, which is a notify icon. Now what we need to do is set an icon for this so that it will show up in our system tray. So let's just use this star right here. Now this star is going to be used in the next series of tutorials where we create a favorites viewer but we can also use it for this too so we're gonna have a star for our icon so we'll come back here and we'll go to form1.vb and hold on here okay so what we need to do sorry about that I had to look at uh, my previous project that I, that I had created so what we need to do is show the user that a new file has been found. So we'll type notify new file dot show balloon tip. Now a balloon tip is one of those things uh, if you're on Windows right now a balloon tip is when you see a little balloon looking thing pop out from one of your icons in your system tray and it tells you something. Now you may have seen this with um, a Windows updater or something like that um, and it has a little it has a little X button on it. So this is going to take some arguments. We're going to need the timeout. So let's set the timeout to 10 seconds. Now this is in milliseconds. So what we need to do is put 10,000 milliseconds, which is going to be equal to 10 seconds. Now the next thing we need to do is set the title of the tip. Now to show tool balloon tips, you have to use uh, a notify icon because there has to be an icon in the tray for you to show a balloon tip. You can't do it from an icon in the taskbar. So let's set the title to new file and we'll just set the text to the new file found is and then we'll just go ahead and add let's see file dot file name dot to string or file name is already a string so we can just leave it like that and then the tip icon is going to be tooltip icon dot info so this will set the icon of our tooltip now let's go ahead and run this and you can see here that we've got start checking for new files so if I click this it's going to say um, it's going to check for new files now that just showed up uh, a whole bunch of balloon tips because it did that for each one of these because it did not contain it so we'll go to home, home directory and let's see here we need to change this to let's see so it looks like it's not um, changing our uh, text for this so let's go ahead and we'll copy this go ahead and paste that right there and then paste that right there so we'll get rid of this and we'll set checking to true to begin with okay so now let's run this again and if we start checking for new files Ah, there we go. That was the problem. It changed the text of this instead of this um, because I didn't use very good names. So let's just undo this stuff we did here. And that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so instead of button check for new files, we want button. Let's see. Start check timer. So we'll just copy this. And we will paste it right here. Ah, that's not where we want to paste it. We want to paste it um, right here. Okay, so now if we go ahead and run this if we click start checking for new files you can see it changes to stop and it shows us a balloon tip down here now let me pause right here and I will try to show the balloon tip 
Okay, so I've moved the recording down to here. And let's just go ahead. Uh, we'll clear the list. And then you can see that because it's checking for new files, it gives us a balloon tip that says, new file found is YouTube.txt. Now it actually did that for each one of these, but it scrolled through so fast that you couldn't see it. So we can stop checking for new files, and then we can clear. And then every tenth of a second, it's going to check to see if there's a new file. So it's going to say, new files found. So if we upload a file, so let's say we upload um, the dragon, we can go ahead and we'll see that it's going to check and find the dragon. Now let's see here. Actually that will not um, trigger this to tell us there's a new file because when we upload it's going to refresh the list by itself and so it's going to see that that file is already in there. So we'll go ahead and close out. Of so go ahead, put this code in if you haven't already. Um, and you should get the complete program to where you can do a whole bunch of stuff with FTP and you can have it check for new files and notify you when that happens. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial.